Hey there, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can build this accordion FAQ section in Figma. So stay tuned. So to start things off, I have a mostly empty canvas. The only thing I've added in so far is the icon I'm going to use for my accordion. So the first thing we're going to build is the question portion of our accordion. So I'm going to grab the frame tool and just draw the frame. The sizing will be adjusted once we set up the auto layout and give it the fixed width. So let's go ahead and do that now. I'll go to auto layout and I'll give it a horizontal padding of 16 pixels and a vertical padding of 24 pixels. I'm then going to go to these three dots and give it the spacing mode of space between. And that's because I want to have the question on the left hand side and the icon on the right hand side. I'll then set this to be centered and I'll give it a fixed width of 768 pixels. Now you're probably wondering where I got this 768 number from. 768 pixels is typically the container size on my FAQ sections once I build it in Webflow. So feel free to adjust this number depending on the needs of your project. 768 is just typically the number I use. So now that we have the basic structure set up, I'm going to grab my text tool and just type in a placeholder question. Then I'll grab my icon and drag that in. And you might not be able to tell from the video, but the icon has a navy blue color. So I'll give the text that same navy blue color. And I'll give it a font weight of semi-bold. I can rename this frame as question. And now we have the basic structure of what will soon become the question or unopened version of our accordion. Now we're going to build out the answer portion. So once again, we're going to grab the frame tool and right below the question, we'll just draw out a quick frame. Once again, we're going to adjust it once we add in the auto layout and give it the fixed width. So we'll go to auto layout and we'll do the same thing. 16 horizontal padding, 24 vertical padding, and then we'll give it the fixed width of 768. I'll grab my text tool and just type in a placeholder answer. I'll give this font a text color of that same navy blue and I'll make the font weight regular, have it fill the container, and I'll rename this frame as answer. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my answer and I'm just going to drag it right below the question so it touches the bottom. They're going to be siblings of one another. They're not going to be nested inside. So they're siblings. Then I can select both the answer and the question and frame them. And real quick, I'll just give this a quick stroke. So I'll go one pixel, same navy blue, and the center. So here we have the basic structure of what will soon become our accordion section. So I'll select the frame, which is both the question and the answer. And I'll make it a component. I'll go back and add a variant. And I'll just give this frame some size so we have some room to play with. And I'll move this down. Now you're probably wondering why I made two versions of the same component. And that's because I'm going to go up top to this first default version. And I'm going to go to the bottom where we have the up and down arrow. And holding down the control key, I'm going to drag this up so it reaches the bottom of the question component. And I'll go to clip content. And now we have the unopened state of our accordion. I'm also going to do this clip content for the answer portion. And you're not going to notice a change visually, but this will help in the animation once we set up the interaction. 
And before I set up that interaction, I'm going to go to my answer portion and I'm going to select the icon. And I'm just going to rotate it 180 degrees. Now we have everything set up and we can set up our interaction. So I'm going to go to the prototype tab and I'll start with the question and I'll set up an interaction and I'll say on click change to variant 2 we'll make it smart animate ease out at 300 milliseconds and we'll do the same for the answer portion so that way when we click the opened version it goes back to the unopened state so we'll set up interaction on click change to default smart animate ease out 300 milliseconds so now that we have that interaction set up i'm going to quickly design a quick frame that we can use as a mock-up faq section and we can test out our prototype so when i go back to the design tab and i'll zoom out go to the frame tool and select a quick MacBook frame. I'll give it a background of a cool pale gray so we can see the white question accordion. I'll then give it a quick heading so I'll grab my text tool and say FAQs. I'll make it bold 48. Use the same navy color. Now I'll center it. Now I'll go to my assets and drag in my accordion. Center it up and I'll move it closer to the FAQs. Let's go 80 for right now. Now you might be thinking you're done at this point. And that would be true if you just had one FAQ question. But typically you have more than one FAQ question. So what we're going to do is we're going to select the component. And holding down Alt, I'm going to drag to make a second copy. And I'll select both of them and add an auto layout. And I'll just make them 16 pixels apart. Now you're probably wondering why we added the auto layout. If we didn't add the auto layout, once we open the accordion, the answer portion would slide below or behind the next question. Adding the auto layout has it so once we open the accordion, the other questions will get pushed down, typically what you normally see in FAQ section, so our prototype will behave as intended. So I'll go ahead and grab one, I'll go to the layers tab, and I'll select one of our frames and I'll just duplicate a couple copies so we have a few to look at. Now that we have a couple of questions and our mock-up page set up, I'll go and present. And let's test out our accordion. And there you go, an FAQ accordion section. So I hope this helps in your projects. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.